All right, in this video, we're gonna be going over how exactly to swap your tokens on the Pulse Chain Testnet. We're gonna be going over how to swap Pulse into different tokens such as Pulse X, Hex, the incentive tokens, and even how to import tokens as well. So without further ado, let's kick it off real fast. The first thing you'll do is when you first come to this website, it is down in the description below as well should you need access to it, but is the Pulse X link you can go to exchange and we're just simply going to click swap. We currently have to first connect the wallet for the MetaMask. And if you need the video on how to do that, go ahead and click on this video up top explaining how to connect your MetaMask wallet. Now, if you currently do not have any sort of balance in here at all, because maybe this is a dummy wallet or maybe you don't, you weren't able to sacrifice for Pulse Chain, you can check out another video where I go through and explain using this website, freepulse.io, how to go through and do it as well. You can click on that video up top as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is get yourself 10,000 free TPLS to transact on. If you ever want to swap any token one for another, you just wanna come on in here and simply just type in the amount that you would like to swap. So we're gonna say 1,000, Pulse right now, which would give us 3047 Pulse X. Now, again, this is test net. This is all simple purposes. Be careful ratio trading in the very beginning. You may end up in a situation where you get wrecked. So just be very cautious about this. So once we come on down here, you can click swap. You're going to see a whole little pop-up transaction fee basically saying how much you're going to receive. The price has been updated once again. The price will be very volatile. So I'm going to say confirm swap. At this point, you will see another confirmation pop up. Anytime that you see these things pop up in MetaMask, again, you can come on down here and actually see a full exact detail of what we're swapping. So it's going to tell me right now the gas fee is roughly about 0.001 TPLS, which we currently know is next to nothing less than pennies so I can say yes go ahead and swap that amount and within usually on about average 10 seconds or so we should see the transaction confirmed now if you have not already uh, uh, say this is the very first time you swapped for a particular token you can go ahead and add that token into your MetaMask by simply clicking this button right here you'll see another icon pop up basically giving you the full there's that confirmation saying it's been completed this is the full item saying hey this would you like to go ahead and add this particular token pulse X I don't have it in my system right now so yes let's go ahead and add the token in so now when I open up my MetaMask I then will see two different tokens. I will have essentially 1,000 or 9,000 TPLS. And then I also have, whoops, I see myself covering uh, this just a smidge. One second. Okay. So I see, I let me see where I can end up putting this. Cool. So then I see that we have this amount right here where we can actually lock this in and give ourselves 3,000 PLSX. Now this is the very beginning of how to go about using this website. You can of course swap this PLS for any other token of your choice. The second step I wanted to go through and show you because we first only have a few options. If you're going to have some hex, you can go ahead and import the token in right here as well, just like we did earlier. So if you know that you're going to be adding some hex, let's go ahead and add that balance in as well. So I can scroll on down and say add token. And then once again, I can say add the token in for the incentive token if we know that we're going to be doing some yield farming as well. So this is how you can add these tokens in and now they will show up inside your MetaMask account. They don't have any balance on there right now because I haven't swapped any, any anything at this point in time, but should I want to, I can then swap say one, uh, 1000 PLS once again, and it'll give me roughly about 2.5 uh, hex at this time. Again, you saw the process to swap. You would simply click on swap, confirm, and go from there. So we understand how that process works. Next, we need to understand what if your token isn't showing? Do you have a token that you're wanting to actually import? This is very important to kind of follow these next steps because you can import all of the tokens inside to the Pulse X exchange because right away they may not list it right from the jump. So what we're going to do is go to another website where you basically have a blockchain for, or the block explorer for Pulse Chain Testnet. Again, 
Link is down in the description below should you need access to it. But with this website, we can come on down and we can see there's an area. Oops, let me zoom out once again. We can see there's an area that says tokens. If I click on this and just say all, it's going to give me a full list of all the tokens that are available that are ERC20 tokens, which will be all copied over and turn into PRC20 tokens. So right from the jump, we can see, say for example, uh, you know for, for a fact that you have some Shiba, and I'm just using this as an example. But the way you can do this is just by clicking copy address. And I'll, you know what, I'm actually going to do a, uh, a different one real fast. Let me do Hedron because I think that one is part of our ecosystem and much more well known. So now you can say there's Hedron right here. This is the contract address. I can again simply click this copy icon. It allows me to copy this full address right here. And now I can go back into the exchange and click paste. From there, it's going to say the Hedron token is there. It's going to show the symbol and I can just say import. Okay. Now it's going to say anyone can create a PRC20 token on Pulse Chain with any name, including fake versions. Be careful folks, right? If you have, if you purchase an arbitrary token, you may not be able to sell it back. So this is all very, very good warnings because there's going to be a lot of bad actors that come out. There's going to be a lot of malicious uh, uh, actors who are coming out trying to get every single bit that they can from you. So at this point, you're going to say, I understand. And then we're going to say import. Now again, and this is going to tell me that I can have 1,000 pulse and I can swap that for 209,000 hedron. Let's go ahead and swap that real fast just so that way we have that done. You'll see the pop-up notification once again basically saying this is what we are swapping for. And this is again going to say yes. Swap that in. I don't have hedron inside my MetaMask being that this is the first time that I've actually added it in there. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing and add this token inside the MetaMask and again you'll be able to see us right on down here to say approve now this transaction has already been done so once again if we go back inside MetaMask we now have 8,000 TPLS, 3,000 PulseX, and 209,000 Hedron. You can do this for as many tokens as you choose. If you, if you know for a fact that you are going to be needing to add some tokens as well, you don't necessarily have to go through this exchange process to go through and do that. Inside your MetaMask, for example, if you know that you have USDC, but you don't want to swap anything for USDC at this time, you can come back in here to the, uh, you can come back in here to the block explorer and simply do the tokens and go to all once again you're going to see usdc right here i can just say copy this address and come back into my metamask and say import tokens this is how you can also import the tokens manually without actually doing the entire swap so it's going to say what is this token once again usdc now what are the decimals right here the token decimal well if i come on down you can see there's a decimals right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I put that same number in and that will be six. So we're just going to type in six right there and add custom token. It pulls up the fact that it is USDC as well. If you like to have these symbol again, once again, I would recommend going through and doing it from the pulse X exchange for now. So I'm going to say back real quick and I'll show you the difference. Once again, if I come on down and click on here and paste in that same address, once again, for USDC, it's going to give me the actual symbol now, instead of just importing that token as it was previously. I don't know if this is going to be fixed when pulse chain launches. So just to give you a heads up, should you need that to be the case? Again, I want to go ahead and just say one just for real fast, just so that way I have it in here because these fees are very cheap. And again, it just allows me to import the token in right away by going down here and saying, yep, go ahead and swap it, confirm and bam, add USDC to MetaMask. And once again, we're going to say confirm, right? So now we actually get the symbol for USDC inside our MetaMask. There are multiple ways of getting this done. It's just a matter of what way makes more sense for you. But I hope you found this video insightful and helpful. If you have other videos that you're wanting to see on the test net, please leave me a comment down in the description below. I'm more than happy to go over this in more depth and details. We do have some more tokens and more videos coming along, basically for the how to prepare for Pulse Chain mainnet launch. Guys, thank you so much for all the support and all the love. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.